One thing that's also been happening, because Pride Month is another thing that parents are protesting at school board meetings, right? But they're also protesting teaching black American history in school. I saw that. There are parents who say their kids learning about black American experiences in America uh, is causing difficult conversations for them to have at home. Sure, nobody, and don't, it makes don't their nobody, kids feel don't nobody, bad about don't being nobody white. white want to have to explain <laughs> what their ancestors did. That shit got to be fucked up. Damn, grandpa was the, then they had to start going. <laughs> the white folks probably be like, wow, your granddad did what? That's fucking crazy. Go ahead. But that's an old thing, right? I mean, we have a thread in this country that of revisionist history. Right after the Civil War, we had Reconstruction. After Reconstruction, we had Jim Crow, and they started talking about how great these Confederate soldiers were. Right? There's groups like Daughters of the Confederacy, and I think we're seeing, to a degree, we're seeing that now. And we have parents who don't want their kids learning about what their ancestors did. Some of these people are in these pictures. Right, Jerry Jones, the owner of the uh, Cowboys, right? He was at that they school They had a picture of him in school. <laughs> yeah, I was, just, I was just going to class, bro, and they, they were just out there, and I was like, what this going on? And I was like, that shit crazy. But, I mean, white people racist. I mean, and I don't mean every white person, but white people as a genre, because white people as a whole diaspora in America, like, you know, they're racist. I mean, I'm sure every white person obviously is not racist, but if you're not standing against white people that's not racist, that's where the general concept comes in. So go ahead, yeah, yeah. Should people, or should parents be able to do that? Should parents be able to block their kids from learning about black American history? Should they be able to cancel AP, AP African American history class? I think they do a crappy job of teaching black history anyway, so. I, I didn't know who James Baldwin was, dog. I went through school my whole life and never know, learned about James Baldwin. Why is a whole nother question. You know, they only give you about three or four people. One thing that's cool about white people, I give them their credit. They for sure gonna only pick the niggas they like. White folks only pick the niggas they like. They for sure gonna hammer Martin Luther King pre I had a dream up to I had a dream. They not going into Martin Luther King at that church giving that last speech about we coming for our check. They're going to be real slight with Malcolm X. They're going to focus most of the time on him dying. Um, They're going to talk about Thurgood Marshall. They're going to give you a couple They're going to give you Rosa Parks on the back of the bus. It's only about six or seven people they talk about. So they Jackie stopped Robinson. teaching about it. I wouldn't <laughs> They're give it. Jackie Robinson. Yeah, that should be elective anyway. That should be like an elective. Because they need to get like a better setup when you're talking about black. Because it just be so limited. Like, you don't hear shit about Nat Turner like that. Um, they'll give you Muhammad Ali. <clears throat> they better talk about Muhammad, Muhammad Ali had to die. Yeah, they, they don't, they don't, they, they are, they don't do a good job of teaching black history. Like I said, the fact that I didn't know about James Baldwin was crazy to me. Seemed like that would have been one of their guys. But I guess he was like way too spicy. He was talking crazy. James was cold. Yo, but James was also uh, in the LGBTQ community. Hands down. James uh, left America, went and moved to France, hanging out over there. You know, James was taking white people to task on TV. Yeah, he was. Bro, it, listen. One thing I, I didn't really want for this album is it to be misconstrued that it's like something about LGBTQ people. I, that's not a real movement to me. Shout out to all of the people in the alphabet. That's not a real movement, bro. You're a part of all the rest of this shit. You're not by yourself because who you fucking. If somebody fuck fat girls, there's no movement to say you fuck fat girls. And then, you know, this is the plus size community and you only fucking fat. I don't give a fuck who you fuck. That don't take you away from being whatever you is. If you black, you're a part of the black movement. If you white, you need to figure out why you antagonizing the black movement or why people is antagonizing the black movement. If you Spanish, you part of that, like, you know what I mean? Like, there, there's no soil, there's no, 
I'm not riding with that. I'm not fucking with it. I, I respect what is going on, but I'm not riding with it, right? Because you still a nigga if you look like me. I don't give a fuck who fucking you or who you fucking. You still a nigga, and that is going to be paramount. But, I mean, let's be honest. It don't matter who people fucking. You either good or you not at your job. James Baldwin was the shit. I look at a motherfucker like uh, 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 Lil Nas X. It's not right. Motherfucker Elton John is the shit. You know what I mean? Like you can't, like I'm tired of people getting, they lazy selling bullshit when you could just sell good shit. Queen, the lead singer Queen, Freddie Mercury, he's the shit. Luther Vandross, I heard he was gay. He's the shit. Teddy Pendergrass was knocking trans down. He's the shit. Either you got it or you don't. I, your marketing strategy should not be who you fucking. I would not listen to a rapper because all he did was fuck fat girls. Like if that's his whole shtick, to me, that's Lil Nas X's whole shtick. I'm gay. I don't fucking care who you fucking. Is your shit good? You sound like a, 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 a average version of the Backstreet Boys. And it's the Backstreet Boys. You know what I'm saying? I demand excellence in the field. I'm not giving you no play because who you fucking. I'm not listening to no nigga just because he no crip. Nigga, if your shit whack, your shit whack. And I'm just tired of where we at in society where that's the thing. Like, I'm supposed to care about because you fucking somebody that's the same gender. That's your punk ass business. I don't fuck who you fucking. Is your shit good? So that does have a very conservative ideology, you know what I'm saying? But it makes sense as well. I wouldn't trade in no Queen album I got for nobody. I'm not trading no Queen album because Freddie Mercury is gay and then somebody else is straight. Nigga, this nigga shit is the shit. That's it.